So this is the way that I create my head molds. I promised you guys this video and I'm going to do a voiceover of what I'm actually doing. So this is for a person that is creating this head mold by themselves. There's no help whatsoever. So in order to keep the head mold in position, I'm going to go ahead and tie it around my neck. It felt a little uncomfortable, honestly, but I needed to make sure that, that first part was a bit secure. Um, what I also did is I went to the bathroom and I did this etchy thing with the marker, with the Sharpie marker, uh, to make sure that I can get a really great outline of my hairline. I do this because oftentimes when you set the mold up, over time the there's going to be some type of glare where the uh, where the tape is. So just lay a, your first layer down, do a, a outline of what your what your hairline looks like, and then I'll go from there. But do that first, just in case you can't. You, you want to avoid having to a situation where you can't see your hairline in the future. So I'm going to take the saran wrap and wrap it from ear to ear. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to put this over top of my head. And now it's time to wrap your head. Go ahead and wrap it um, clockwise. And just make sure you're keeping the saran wrap nice and flat and tight to your head. You don't want to have a situation where it's not flat. And I do that by pressing on the saran wrap. Naturally, it's going to attach itself to the last layer, which is perfect. And as you can see, I'm just smoothing everything down as I go in. This matters because when you actually take it off, uh, you want to make sure the whole thing is smooth. So I'm having a moment in my right now on camera where I'm trying to figure out, okay, how do I wrap this again? So I'm going to wrap it around my head clockwise and just keep on holding it make sure it's nice and neat i'm going to do this for maybe three or four times make sure too that you, to make sure you don't end up with a uh, cone head smooth all of that top area down do not be afraid to do that and just continue to wrap i think this is the last time i'm going to wrap it so i'm going to go ahead and just uh, rip it off but i want to make sure it's covering the nape of my neck as well just make sure it's nice and smooth and I'm ripping it now. I'm going to smooth that down. Very important. Go over your ears too. Don't be afraid to go over the ears. And I'm going to take that top portion and I want to make sure I smooth that in a way to where it's nice and flat. Remember, we don't want to avoid the cone head effect. So to make sure, look to the side to make sure that your head is nice and smooth in that back area. It's really important. Now take your packing tape. I love clear packing tape. It's nice and strong. It makes like great... Uh, it makes a great cast. And you can actually see on the right side of this video where I have a head mold that I've already used for someone else. Be careful too when you're starting to like rip that tape down with your wrist. Just be mindful of how fast you're going and how hard you're going. I'm now going up by the nape of my neck to make sure that the nape of my neck is covered. You got to make sure you do that. Otherwise, it will not be covered and your mold will not be the way that you want it to be. So just get it nice and flat against the nape of your neck. You're going to feel crazy, but it's going to be really beneficial in the long run. Just get that tape everywhere. The way you can tell uh, where the tape needs to be put at is that you can always feel where how soft the, uh, the saran wrap is. So if you feel the little uh, squeaky feel of the tape, or you can just kind of rub your finger and go up and down, it's like squeak, squeak, you can, um, you can, you'll know that the tape is in that area. If it's soft, you have to tape it. Do not let this mold go without taping the entire area. Trust me, you don't want to do it. That middle area, I have to make sure I uh, tape that down nice and good. If you don't, it can create a, a lift and give you a cone head. So I'm being very careful and making sure that I'm, I am um, taking that tape. And I also give you the the, uh, the hint about the not um, ripping the tape off so hard to where it messes up your wrist. So I'm just feeling around and I think I found a piece in the back that's soft. So I'm going to go ahead and just tape that back. You technically can never use too much tape, but um, just be mindful that everything has to be covered. I'm going along the sides of my ears and I'm everything I can actually see. I'm going to put the marker or I'm going to uh, draw that outline. And I felt another soft area, and I want to cover it with tape. I'll just cover it up with tape. Yep, feels secure. All right, now that I have uh, that line that I drew in the very beginning, I can actually trace it. Notice that I'm doing like a really soft strokes. Do not do any hard lines. Promise me, promise yourself, you will not do any hard lines. Because if you do, uh, when it comes to um, tweezing your hair, it's not going to look right. 
And also, please uh, draw a line of where you want to have your part at. That'll be helpful too. Now, if you like, you can go ahead and take it off because you can see the lines underneath. And then when you take the cap off, you'll be able to trace those lines yourself without having to trace it directly on your head. Now watch this. The big reveal. This is the head mold. This is it. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and focus on um, carving out that hairline in the very front that you can see and then putting it on the mannequin head. 